All right, guys, so we're going to go over one of the fundamentals of Kodi. Basically, whenever you click on your icons, if you ever are clicking on a build or if you have an issue with any application on your device, the first thing that you generally do is you clear the cache. Okay? So, especially on your builds, this is something that you'll end up doing so many times that you won't be able to answer how many times you've done it recently. Like you, if I asked a person who's been using Cody when the last time they cleared the cache, they probably wouldn't know. Um, we're going to go over how to clear the cache and we're going to go over how to prevent this from happening. So you don't have to do this. I would say we can cut out the amount of times you do this like 90%. So, just to be clear, if you ever click on your one icon, click on your Kodi icon, or any application on your device and you have an issue, the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to go one or two scrolls over and find one of your app launchers. There's a reason why we have everything positioned on your device. Click on the App Starter application. Find the build that you're having the issue with. And instead of clicking it, you're going to go ahead and click your menu button. So the menu button, if you're not familiar, is the three line menu directly above the fast forward button. Another button we're going to be using is the back button. That is the backwards arrow right here. That's going to be the next step that I'm going to go over in just a second. So just so you're familiar with these buttons, there's the back, there's your home. And there's your menu button right now click your menu button so if we're having an issue with Cody we click our menu button we would click app settings and when you get to this menu pause just a second because you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble if you're on autopilot obviously you don't want to ever uninstall it unless you have to or clear the data clear the data is misleading it's basically almost the same thing as if you just uninstalled it it's going to clear everything out it's going to gut your build completely so don't do uninstall or clear data unless you hear us specifically say or you know you just run out of all options and you have the cloud drive and you're familiar with that process um, those are the only two times where that's really an option you're just going to simply click clear the cache if it ever prompts you to you know confirm your answer click ok click yes whatever it is but scroll up and then click launch application it's very simple to do if you're going to do it for the one icon say if i clicked on this i got a gray screen or i got um where it booted me out to the home screen i just it automatically kicked me right back out i'm going to come in i'm going to find this app starter application I'm going to click my menu button. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to clear the cache. And literally I can do this in 10 seconds within, you know, I would say 10 to 15 seconds period. But the reason why this happens, so to change gears, let's go ahead and go over why this happens. We call this the two rules, two very important rules for coding. The reason why this happens most of the time is because you're either doing two things. So you've got to allow your build time to load. So this is a simple one and most people do this, but it generally takes our builds about a minute, I would say max for them to load. And um, you just allow it time to search for add on updates and do its thing. It's going to, search for TV shows you'll see that pop up you'll see um, the weather icon will pop up so it's doing a whole bunch of stuff allow it time to do that and you'll see it flicker at the top when it is done checking for TV shows <coughs> there it goes second rule of Cody most important rule exit out of your build correctly. Don't just leave it running in the background. So don't ever click your home button when you're trying to exit out of anything. 
you want to make sure it's not running in the background and you want to make sure you're doing it correctly so you're going to hold down that back button so the back button remember is this button right here you hold down that button for like one or two seconds and see how that pops up the exit right here I can just simply click on exit right here but just know that this isn't going to work if you're inside of a sub menu if you're inside of a sub menu you're going to need to click the back button and get back to the main menu so any of these screens are the main menu when you're on these you just hold down that back button and then click exit and that shuts down everything properly so no none of the add-ons are just stuck you know frozen it saves your logs and it you know does everything properly and most importantly this is what you really should be focused on is now that is freed up it's not running in the background and your device is going to be faster so you don't want to ever just click the home button when you're really trying to exit out whenever you go into a, an application you want to make sure that you're clicking the the back button so in some of them it's just going to let you out but in others it's going to prompt you to click exit if it prompts you to click exit you just click exit so for example if I click on BTV see how it says do you want to quit I'm gonna click OK that's good to go but you know if I forgot that I can just come in here if I'm having issues with my BTV app and I can do the same exact process I can just come in here and click clear the cache for your applications your regular applications it's not that big of a deal you will be missing some of the settings but worst case scenario you might need to clear the data um, but don't ever clear data when you're talking about your builds unless you know exactly what you're doing I mean really it's a ton of work and you definitely are gonna lose everything in your build but that's the reason why and that's how to fix it just to um, make a long story short make sure you're exiting out properly by clicking your back button and if it doesn't get closed out properly or if something happens sometimes it's not your fault it's just like an add-on will decide that it's not going to shut down it's still trying to do something it's hung in the background um, searching for something stuck frozen or whatever and that will prevent your build from shutting out properly but those are rare um, especially if you're just you know using your device correctly and going through everything one at a time but you can always clear the cache that is a major tool in your toolkit first thing I normally do whenever I have an issue if I'm not sure exactly what's going on is I clear the cache that is that my friends if you need any help at all reach out to us it's lmirnow at gmail.com be good